y'all, this face is looking so good. Wow. Girl. Mm, 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 mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tamara Renee. If you are new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. So as you can see by the title of today's video, it is a get ready with me on this look. I haven't done a get ready with me in a very long time. It's It's been a very long time. And when I dropped this look on Instagram, y'all were coming for me. You're like, we need to see a get ready with me with this fit. So that's what we did today. I really love how the makeup and everything turned out like y'all every single time I do my makeup I just uh, pat on the back okay pat on the back I really love how this look turned out I am just so obsessed I'm so in love my hair the makeup the outfit it is serving it is serving it is giving it is doing what it needs to do let's not forget the fragrance as well today's fragrance it's nothing new you guys are so used to my scents by now so yeah everything shown and used in today's video will be listed in the description box below so do check that out honestly I can sit here and talk to you guys on and on and on but I know you guys want to see this look so if you're interested in seeing how I got all dolled up, girl, keep on watching. So my hair is done. It is so easy peasy lemon squeezy. That is just, you know, how I do my high bun. That's how I achieve my high bun, my top knot, you know, love it a lot. So quick rundown or run through of this hairstyle because I know some people might ask, even though I have a video with details, but I'm gonna quickly just, you know, give it here. So I know this hairstyle requires a lot of gel, especially if your hair is freshly washed with no product or anything like that. Um, my hair is freshly washed. The only thing I have in my hair was some moisturizer, no gel or anything. So it's going to take a lot of gel um, to get your hair as sleek and laid down like this. 
Two, my hair is relaxed, just in case if anyone doesn't know or if anyone is wondering, my hair is relaxed. So that's how I'm able to, you know, have my hair all laid like this. Hair is relaxed. Next thing, the hair I use is purchased from the beauty supply store, your local hair store. I've had this piece for a very long time, I think. I know it's been over a year, probably two years. And the reason why I'm still using this old piece of hair because I find the older, the rougher, the better. This hair is trained, so it is very obedient when I have to wrap my hair around. As you guys saw, it only took one take. I find that when the hair is like new, fresh out of the pack, the strands are a bit loose and free, so you will have a harder time wrapping it. It may take one or two tries, depending on how good you have it wrapped, but you know, practice makes perfect. You just gotta keep wrapping and then get it into the bun like this. Another thing, um, this hairstyle, you can make it last for however long you want it to last. When I do a style like this, or if I were to do a low ponytail, I will have that hairstyle for a week. No, I do not sleep with this bun. No, I don't sleep with the ponytail. I always take it out at night. And then the next day, if I'm going to go out, all I will do is just spray some water to reactivate the gel and the free spray on my hair. I don't need to go back and add any more because we've already applied a lot onto the hair. Um, another thing people always ask, if you wanna do another style, what do you do? You're gonna to have to wash your hair. There's no other way but to wash your hair because you've already applied a lot of gel. You have applied some free spray. Free spray is optional. I do that because one, I'm extra, and two, I just want that extra hold. I don't want any flyaways at all. So free spray is optional, but regardless, you did apply a lot of gel. So there's a lot of buildup. To do another hairstyle, you're going to have to wash your hair. If I wanna do another hairstyle right now, I'd have to co-wash or wash my hair. Um, yeah, there's no other way around it. So yeah, that's it. Oh, and another thing, the braiding hair, because I've had it for so long, honestly, I don't even remember the brand. Just go to your local hair store, buy a pack of braids. I did, it was a very long um, pack. So what I did was just take that hair, cut it in half, and then take that half to create this half or this length that I have. Very, you know, easy. But again, I have a detailed video on my channel, which is right here. So yeah, now it's time to move on to makeup. My favorite, favorite part. I love doing my makeup. So I'm actually gonna be doing my brows right now, but it requires a lot of concentration and just focus. So I cannot speak when I'm doing this part. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my Benefit. This is the precisely my brow, whoops, precisely my brow pencil. I'm in the shade five. That's what I use. I've been using this eyebrow pencil for about a year now and I absolutely love it. I love it so much. I love the color. Um, I think I wanna try 4.5 instead of five, but we'll see. Like I said, I've been using it for a year. And one thing with me, like once I found a product that really works for me and you know, whatever it is I need it for, I'm not gonna experiment with other products. So this is the one and only brow product that I'll be using continuously until I find a flaw or something, which I don't think I will because this is just the bomb. So I'm gonna line and fill my brows with this and then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Chai Concealer to clean up. This is the same shade as the foundation that I use and I use this shade because I honestly don't like to have that bright halo look under my brows. I just want it to look natural as possible so that's why I use that shade. So I'm going to clean these brows real quick and then get started. So I always do this before I do my brows because eyebrow hairs grow really, really fast. This razor, I got it from my local beauty supply store. And I'm only doing this on the bottom. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. So this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. I like to apply this on my brows before I start lining and filling. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and let this dry down.
Okay, so my brows are done and I feel like I can just relax now. I felt a bit tense because of my hair and my brows, but they out of the way, okay? I have good brow days and I have bad brow days. Hmm, today is an okay day, you know, it's okay. I'm not in love, but it is what it is. For primer, I'm gonna be going in with my Milk Hydro Grip. You guys know how I feel about this primer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sprayed some setting spray before applying my foundation. All right, so for today's foundation combination, I think I'm gonna be mixing my two favorite foundations. This is the NARS, what is this? The Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I haven't worn her in a while, but we picked her up. And then my Too Faced Chai. You guys know this is like my ultimate favorite foundation, okay? I do wanna get my hands on the Makeup Forever foundation, the latest one. So a couple pumps of that. You wanna make sure you shake well. You shake well. And then, what is this? Why is it snowing right now? <laughs> like it is snowing outside right now. Mm, it was a bit mild during the week. Not a bit, it was really mild in the week. So the snow that we had on the ground melted. I saw the ground, I saw the grass again. And it's snowing. It's as if winter does not wanna go. But spring is literally right around the corner, you guys right around the corner. And speaking of spring, have you guys been looking at Zara lately? Because, yo, I'm impressed. I am pleased. I am over the moon, okay? I am so over the moon with Zara this season. Like, you guys, I am so obsessed. Like, when I tell you obsessed, I mean obsessed. I, I, I give it to Zara right now because the funny thing is, last year, this time, I was struggling to find clothes. Like I wanted some nice colorful spring pieces and I couldn't find any, especially in Zara last year. And I don't understand why, but I think they probably are making up for that this year because you know, I can't even complain. I'm just so happy. Like really and truly Zara can take all my coins because they coming through, they coming through. They are coming through. Um, someone asked me this the other day on Instagram and the person wanted to know, I'm assuming they're in Toronto as well. They wanted to know what Zara I go to because they can't find their sizes. Girl, and to whoever else may be wondering, buy online, okay? That's where I do majority of my Zara shopping. I do it online. It is just so convenient. You get it the next day or two days after you order it's very fast shipping and i don't have to deal with the hassle of bumping into people and stuff like that the only thing it sucks that you can't see the product in front of you to actually hold and feel and you know get an idea of the material but it is what it is so someone wanted to know also how do i know my size since i shop online so what i do is i will get my regular size which is a medium and then I would also buy a size up just in case if the medium is too snug and then I just return the other one that I don't need. You know, it's that simple. So if you're able to do that, try that method and then you can go from there. I do wanna bring more fashion content onto my channel because I know you guys love my fashion content, my reels on Instagram and TikToks. Like you guys really love it when I come through with the fits, so. And I know you guys love it on here too, so I'm gonna try my best to, you know, do more hauls. The thing is, I already told you guys this, I don't shop in bulk like that. I'll get like a one-two piece, and then by the time, if I'm ready to do a haul, sweetie, the item is out of stock, like it's gone, you know? But I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna see what I can do. 
I'm gonna see what I can do for y'all, okay? What am I gonna do on my bra, on my lids? Should I go with chai? I should have added chai on my lids, but hey. So I'm gonna add some concealer chai on my eyelids and then I'm gonna blend this out and I'm gonna set it with my Laura Mercier honey powder. So let me just get this on and going. And I don't wanna be doing too much movement because I have you guys on a tripod on my table. If I have you guys on my other tripod, you guys will be too far. And I want y'all to be close up. You know, this makeup look is super, super duper easy and simple to achieve, okay? I know y'all be missing the vlogs. Trust me, I miss the vlogs too. <laughs> I miss the vlogs too. So I am, well, I've already started a new vlog and I'm gonna have that drop real soon. So you guys will be on the lookout for that. You know, it's just, it just, to me, it doesn't make sense to vlog during the winter time, especially if you live in Toronto, Canada, whatever. Because when I tell you that there's absolutely nothing to do, there's nothing to do. Like, believe me, there's absolutely nothing to do. And that's my hibernating season, you know? I don't care to really do things and to go out during the winter time, but yeah. This chocolatey look that I did on my br on my lids <laughs> was just one color. I only used one color and I used it from the um, Reezy eyeshadow palette. I haven't touched this eyeshadow palette in so long. As a matter of fact, I forgot I had it, okay? So I'm going in with a Morphe M441 brush. I went in with the shade 1988, this color right here. That's what I applied and that's the only color I applied on the lids. I'm just going to pat this dark brown on my lids and then lightly blend out and do what I gotta do. And I noticed like in my photos, it did look like a two color look, but no, girl, one color. So you just wanna take your time and apply this all over the lids and then blend it out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight and do all that good stuff. And you guys know I crease like crazy, so as soon as I blend out, I have to set. So today's concealer combination, I'm gonna go in with my Butterscotch from Too Faced and then I'm gonna apply Chai. I don't want too much of a bright under eye, but I want it to be bright enough. Do you get me? I hope you guys get me. And then I'm gonna be setting with my handy dandy trusty old Laura Mercier honey translucent powder and I'll be using my Real Techniques sponge to blend that out. I'm going to apply some in the inner corner here and outer corner. Been on my chin. Cupid's bow and my nose. And then I'm going to apply chai right in the center here. And yes, my beauty blender is damp. Squeeze it out. To set the rest of my face today, I'll be going in with my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. That is a mouthful. I'm in the shade Y505. I love this powder so, so much. Love her. So to bronze, you guys already know. This is my girl right here. I know she, you know. But yeah, this is the Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer in the shade Trailblazer.
So now to apply a bit of blush, this is the Juvia's Place Volume 1. And I'm going to go in with this orange color right here. Oh, oh, oh. Love how this is looking. So to tie this entire makeup look together, I'm going to apply the same shade we used on the lids on the lower lash line. And I just need to find my brush. Is this it? Yes. So this is how the face is looking. It's looking good. It's looking real good. And I love it. But it's giving very powdery. So we got to set this. And after I apply my setting spray, I'm going to highlight and do all of that. So today I'll be going in with my Max. My Max. Girl, my Mac. <laughs> Fix Plus Spray. Y'all, this face is looking so good. This face is looking way too good. Every time I beat my face, I'm so surprised that I'm the one that did it. Lashes are on 25mm lashes from Amazon. I'm gonna have them linked below. Now it's time to do lips. Now I'm gonna add some highlight. So this is the Artist Couture Diamond Luxe Illuminizer. Whoops, I'm just gonna go lightly on the bridge of my nose. I haven't, you know, been using highlight in a while, but you know, my hand has been grabbing it as of late. And I just love the way it looks. And I'm gonna go with a little bit in the tear duct. Do I want to? Okay, we're legit going in with a little, or maybe a lot. Let me add some more. A little more. Y'all, I'm just all over the place today. I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay. So we have to wipe away. The lip combo I did with this makeup look, honestly, it was my, you know, regular go-to. But today I wanna do something different. It's still... <laughs> A nude lip, okay. Just doing it, um, just gonna be using a different product. So, this is the Makeup Forever pencil in Limitless Brown. Look at me talking and applying. Girl. Yeah, Limitless Brown, Makeup Forever. Don't remember if I said that. Okay, so today's lippy, I'm gonna be going in with this Dose of Colors. Is it Dose of Colors or Dose of Colors, okay? This is the Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Supernatural. Now I know it's a matte, but I ain't gonna leave it matte. I'm applying some gloss, but I'm just applying this matte because it's the color I want. So, yeah. Going with a little. This really isn't the color I was thinking or trying to go for. So do not fall, girl. When I tell you I'm all over the place today, I'm all over the place. I'm going to go on top of this combo with this Patrick Ta. Oh, she's single lipstick. Let me see what it's gonna do for me. 
Is this what I wanted? Hmm. Okay, why am I like this? Okay, <laughs> um, yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty. This is really pretty. Oh, I like. So instead of going in, cause I'm gonna add some gloss. So instead of going in with a gloss that has color, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Clear Gloss because I want this to be true, true. It's true color. Oh, you mm -mm. look at this. No, don't mind me. I'm looking at the viewfinder. Girl, focus on me. <gasps> wow, you guys. I amaze myself every single time. This is looking really good. I I love what I see. I really love what I see. So I think I'm gonna have to keep this real close. I mean, it's in my makeup bag, but I gotta like use it, use it. This is a pretty combo. Very pretty combo. Girl, girl, girl. Mm, mm, mm. You ever just do your makeup and you used to just surprise yourself like I did that? Practice, practice, practice. This, what I'm, what I just did, did not happen overnight. Wow, girl. Let me go put on my clothes. Let me put on my clothes and let's talk about fragrance and stuff and close out this video because I could sit here and admire myself all day. But I think I'll be doing too much, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, you guys, like, this is, this is a look. You guys, this, this is a look. This is such a look. Outfit time. That's what we all here for. Outfit time, fragrance, and all that good stuff. So, because, well, I don't know if you guys knew this or if you noticed it, but I am filming on my Sony camera. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm filming on my Sony camera. So I have a 35 millimeter lens. So y'all won't see the outfit from head to toe. But I already took pictures and I have a little clip on Instagram that I will insert after so you guys can see the full fit. But let me give you guys the details of what we got going on. All right, so these earrings, I've had them for a long time. I think I got them from Fashion Nova. I think I got them from Fashion Nova but I didn't see it on Fashion Nova, so I don't have a link. However, I did come across it on Miss Lola. It is legit the same airing on Miss Lola. So I'm gonna have that linked below. Hopefully it's still in stock. Let's keep our fingers crossed, you know? This basic white top, it's a bodysuit that I have on, along with this beautiful cream padded shoulder blazer with a gold button. I just love this blazer so much like it screams richness they are both from zara they're both from zara all my blazers that you guys see me in they're from zara don't sleep on zara check zara out because you will not be disappointed trust me trust me on that one okay for the white wide leg trousers that i have on i actually got them from marshall's like what i got it from marshall's i was going through them racks and i came across her and i'm like yo you're coming home with me like <laughs> you're coming home with me and you're my size, you're coming home with me. And because this length is really long, I like my wide leg pants. When I have on my heels, I like it to hit the flow. You know, I like it to hit the floor. So yeah, with that being said, you weren't able to see my heels, but I did have on my nude Christian Louboutin Kate heels yes it's kate not so kate i had on my kate nude heels and now moving on to fragrance you guys know how much i love me my burberry i love this perfume so much 
So, because I'm a little extra, okay? I'm a little extra, I'm gonna tell you why. So, spray her on. Now, let me tell you why I'm extra. I love to smell rich, luxurious, all the above, right? And that's what this gives on its own. But you know, it's a little extra and I decided to layer it. So I'm going to be using my YSL Libre Intense perfume. I'm gonna layer it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. <laughs> I make myself laugh. Ooh. All right, my love, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I enjoyed filming it. I'm loving how I'm looking. The hairstyle is giving, the makeup is giving, and the outfit is definitely giving. Everything is giving, the perfume is giving, like I smell so good. I love looking good, smelling good. <sighs> You guys already know this, okay? Y'all already know. No, but for real though, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming this video for you guys. Everything, and I mean everything, will be listed down below. I will link what I can link and what is not linked. There just wasn't a link for it, okay? All right, I'm, I'm letting y'all know, I'm letting y'all know, okay? Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to be notified whenever I upload a video so you never miss a video. Give this video a big thumbs up, drop your comments below. Follow me on Instagram at Tamara Renee and on TikTok and my one and only TikTok, Tamara.Renee. There's a reason why I'm saying that, Tamara.Renee. That's my TikTok, Tamara Renee is my Instagram. Follow me on there. You know, that's where I be giving the looks. Like, that's where I am majority of the time when you guys don't see me on YouTube, okay? So follow me on there to keep up with me, see all my latest looks and all that good stuff. And also keep up with me on my blog at www.tamaravenee.com. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.